Gotta aim for the top like Hold up Yeah I can never doubt myself I know better All of you can smoke But I know when it just settles So I'm in my element It's everything that the To me uh, In-season maintenance uh, Training for an athlete Comes with a good strength training program um, First uh, goal There's three key benefits That we, we like to see Out of that training program The first one is to maintain strength um, They've spent the last Four to six months Preparing the body uh, for the demands of the sport. Um, research shows that within just three weeks, if an athlete does not um, engage in any strength exercises, that you start to see decreases in strength. So um, lifting the appropriate volume and intensities uh, will allow the athlete to maintain that high level of performance. Uh, second key benefit that athletes are going to see with a good in-season strength program um, are uh, the recovery, the recovery time is going to be reduced. So by engaging in the right strength training exercises, um, athletes are going to increase blood flow um, to their muscles, um, which is going to bring good nutrients, um, oxygenated blood to the muscle, therefore carrying out uh, some of that soreness, um, ultimately going to minimize the, the recovery time um, and keep them um, uh, on the field performing optimally. Uh, the third um, and probably the most important uh, piece of a good in-season strength program uh, benefit that you're going to see is the reduce or uh, the reduction of that risk of injury. Um, a good lifting program in season is going to improve um, the integrity of the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, uh, ultimately providing joint stability um, and really going to make them more resilient to the demands of the sport. So T-spine mobility or thoracic rotation um, is basically the body's ability to rotate around the spine. So as a pitcher, as a baseball player, we're a very rotational uh, athlete. So um, it allows us to transfer energy, uh, specifically when throwing a ball or pitching uh, from the lower half to the upper half into that ball release. So um, essentially, if there is limited mobility in the T-spine, uh, typically what we see is we're going to see more stresses put on different joints of the body. So in this case with throwing, uh, we're going to see more elbow stress, more shoulder stress, um, and ultimately uh, compromising uh, our ability to throw a ball. kind of makes us more one-dimensional. Um, with, um, you know, those compensations typically, um, you know, you start to see the higher risk of injury creep in as well. So one thing we like to do, uh, a couple exercises that are really good for uh, keeping good uh, mobility in that T-spine are uh, quadruped extension rotation and uh, sideline windmill um, exercise. Have a